Hello kids, welcome to the class. So today we are going to learn multiplication of integers. So here there are basically four rules which is very easy to understand. So here first I will take first rule with an example which says when you have two positive number you go ahead and multiply and the answer that you will get is a positive number. So here you observe there is 3 and 4 with no minus sign before it that means it is a positive number. So when you have two positive number you go ahead and simply multiply 3 4s are 12 and the answer that you will get will be a positive number only. Understood? Yes, it is very simple as compared to addition and subtraction. Here you just have to carry out multiplication or division and you just have to put the sign as per the rule which is also very easy. 2 into 7. 2 into 7. Positive, positive, right? So 2 7s are 14 and the rule says it will be a positive number only. So what does the rule say? When you multiply two positive number, the answer will be a positive number only. Okay. Now let us take the next rule which says when you multiply two negative number, the answer over here will be a positive number not a negative one. Okay. So here it is minus 1 into minus 7. First ignore the sign and just go and multiply first. 1 7s are 7. And when you are multiplying two positive negative number the answer will be positive okay so minus into minus will be plus so that is why it is plus 7 that is 7 okay I will take one more sum minus 4 into minus 6 first ignore the sign both are negative that means minus minus will become plus so ignore them and just go ahead and multiply 4 6 are 20 and minus minus means positive. So that is why it will be plus 24. So the rule over here says when you multiply two negative number, the answer will be a positive number. Now let us take a third rule which says when you multiply a negative number and a positive number, the answer you will get is a negative number. Okay. That is first question I will take is minus 4 into 3. So, what you observe one is negative one is positive. So, when you see this you have to first ignore the point, ignore the sign and go ahead and multiply 4 3 is a 12 and one is negative one is positive that means the answer will be negative 12 that is minus 12. I will take one more. Now here you remember the sequence does not matter. Now if I say 8 into minus 2. What do you observe? 1 is positive, 1 is negative. That means the rule says you have to multiply first. Go ahead and multiply first. But you will put the minus sign because 1 is a negative number. That is over here 2 is negative. That is why the answer will also be negative irrespective of where the negative number is whether it is first or second it does not matter. I will take one more sum which you can try with me 3 into minus 7. So positive negative I have to multiply I will first go and multiply 3 7s are 21 and I will put the minus sign because 1 is a negative number over here. Okay, so what does this rule says that when you multiply a positive number with a negative number, the answer will be negative irrespective of where the negative number is. Whether it is a first number, second number, third number or what. You have to put, you will always get a negative number. Okay, so now you can take a screenshot of this table. And you can go through it at the time of exam. Hope you have understood this topic. If yes, then do subscribe to my channel. Meet you in the next class. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.